I didn't want to bore you with uh, cleaning up my old bucket here. I brought that in because this is one I didn't finish up uh, last week when I was welding on it, so I uh, ran out of time. So I got time today, so I'm gonna weld these uh, quarter inch uh, plates on the bottom. And I beveled them about, uh, oh, about 45 degrees so that they fit right here along that half inch uh, cutting edge here. So I'm gonna weld the bead on here and weld it down the sides and uh, strengthen the bottom of that bucket on both of these. So I'll get set up here and uh, we'll get going. I'm gonna use uh, 7018 rods on the bottom and on the top up here. And then I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna try to use my MIG welder on the sides and see how that goes. So we'll, uh, I may uh, regret doing that, but uh, we'll see. You know, I can always weld it back if it breaks loose. So uh, we'll go from there. Here is I've uh, put a, a weld of 7018 rod across the bottom and across the top. So now what I'm going to do is uh, get my wig mel mid welder set up and come back and uh, weld the sides with the uh, MIG. Like I say, I may regret that, but uh, we'll see. I can always re-weld it if I have to, but uh, the problem with this bucket was that it, it's a thinner metal you can see, I don't know whether you can tell here or not, there's a hump right here. If you get to the side, you might be able to see this hump right here as it goes up. But anyway, um, it's thinner metal than that uh, bucket that um, when I brought the other tractor in with that bucket. That's a much thicker metal. This bucket is made in Brazil. It came with the loader on the Massey Ferguson. And the metal is much thinner. The one that I have on the other tractor is made in Canada, and it's a much thicker metal. So this metal uh, is probably probably quarter inch, or maybe a little bit more, but I doubt it. It could be three eighths. Um, I know they've got a nice uh, half inch cutting edge on this thing, so I wish they'd have made the whole bucket bigger or thicker, but they didn't. So I'll uh, get set up here with the uh, MIG and then I'll weld the sides on. this all completed here I got three welds on each side of each uh, quarter inch uh, strut I put in there so that will thicken that bucket up and hopefully keep it from um, bending in the middle 
which is what happened, of course, is you, if you watched the other video, you saw where I straightened it and then where I weld that other piece in the center. You can see this is where the other piece is, is on the other side of that bucket. I mean, I put in the plugs here, I went ahead and put some uh, 7018 rod in those holes uh, that are on the back side of that plate to uh, pull that plate uh, down to the bottom there too. So anyway, um, as you can see, it's got a nice uh, thick cutting edge on here. It's about uh, a two inch, or um, not two inch, listen at me, uh, about a half inch uh, cutting edge on there. And this is the back side of the bucket, so what you're doing is looking at underneath of it. So by putting this underneath there, when I hit something, it shouldn't actually buckle that bucket like it did the uh, uh, prior to this. So, but anyway, got that on there. Thank everybody for watching. And um, appreciate all my subscribers. And uh, let's get out and do something. And I think to myself... What a wonderful world.